Quinnipiac wins the tip. Roberts, Marcus Hammond, Raheem Solomon, Shandon Brown in the starting lineup. Joined by Nicholas Kratholm. Justin Roberts around the screen. Now to Brown. Shandon Brown fakes the three. Into the paint he goes. Kicks back to Raheem. Raheem underneath. Kratholm. Layup. Good. Great feed. Quinnipiac's going to need to make an adjustment to, to cover that space. As a team, the Purple Eagles two for four from the right elbow. Every shot has been from there. That's uncanny. Here's McGuire with it. His pass tipped by Roberts. Picked off by Shandon Brown. Here he comes into the corner to Roberts. Eagles. They'll check in next chance. Shandon Brown, left wing. Roberts fakes a three, goes along the baseline. Floater, six footer. Good. Picks up his dribble. Lob underneath. Stolen by Quacamensa. Now to Shandon Brown. That was good pick and roll defense there. Right wing Hammond. Didn't hoist a three all the way to the bucket. Floater. Swish. Kelly three with one of his own. That's a big shot right there. Justin Roberts to check in at the next whistle. Here's Kelly. He bangs into Shannon Brown, and that is an offensive foul. That's a second on Kelly. John Garbinski with the call. And Shannon Brown, one of the best on the ball defenders. There was little mystery on that one. That was a charge. Kevin Martin, the lead cut to seven. Shannon Brown, left wing Hammond. He's going to hoist a deep three from the wing. That's good. Now five for five from the floor. 50-34. Quacamenta reaches in, stole it cleanly. Now Shannon Brown ahead of the pack. Nick McDonald layup. Good. Goes with a record of six and three. Marcus Hammond in the corner. Shannon Brown an open three. Good. Brown knocks in that triple, and the Purple Eagles call timeout with the lead back to 19. It'll be a 30-second timeout. So with 5.57 left, we'll keep it here. Hammond with the great pass, and Susan, you have to take that three in rhythm, even if you've missed a few, and Shandon has. That one was up. Shandon Brown, the sophomore from Boston, Mass. With the timeout, we'll take a quick peek on the out-of-town scoreboard. Manhattan has won today. They have... McGuire to Belonk now out near midcourt to Kelly. Kelly behind the back, lost control, stolen away by Hammond. The chase is on, Hammond by himself, layup good. And you've got to commend Niagara's defensive effort today because so many of their points have come in transition after turning, getting those turnovers. Kelly tried to hoist a three, fires it into the corner this time. Stolen by Levniak, now to Hammond, he will pull it out. Well, the Purple Eagles can't finish. They really had Rich Kelly bottled up and some frustration. You can see Kelly in the background. Shannon Brown enjoying that one as Marcus Hammond able to finish. Shannon, you, you got moved into the starting lineup. Uh, you, you drew a lot of the Kelly coverage today. Um, I thought Friday you guys might have been out toughed a little bit. I don't know if that's fair or not, but um, I feel like that was very different today. How, how important was it to kind of set a tone beyond you know, the perspective of that? Um, I mean, anytime I'm in the game, whether it's coming off the bench, starting, um, playing 20 minutes, five minutes, I always want to come in. And, um, my identity is to take care of the basketball and to be one of the best defenders on this team. So um, that was what Coach Carlos wanted me to do coming into this game. Um, all of the guards make it tough. James came in. He did a great job. And Justin, Marcus, the bigs did a great job of having the guards back. So, I mean, it's a team effort. Everybody bought into the game plan, and we came out to win as a result.